Are you looking for a way to treat your fish before you put them in your reef aquarium? You go to the fish store and you get that fish that you've been waiting for for a really long time and you bring it home to your tank. When all of a sudden, someone asks you, did you quarantine your fish before you put it in your display tank? Now, when it comes to quarantining your fish, there's a few ways that you can do that. And one of those is setting up a quarantine. But let's face it, a lot of us just don't have the budget to set up extra tanks to leave set up or just have them hanging around the house, especially when we're brand new to the hobby and we're getting our feet wet, jumping right into this. So today I'm gonna show you how to treat your fish or quarantine your fish without a quarantine tank. Now, first of all, when you're going to your fish store to pick a fish for your aquarium, you do wanna look them over, inspect them, make sure there's no little white specks, make sure there's nothing in their gills. You don't want anything wrong with your fish before you bring it home to your tank. And a good way to be proactive about that is by setting up a quarantine tank. But not all of us have the budget to start a quarantine tank at least in the beginning. So a great way to kind of circumnavigate that or to go around that would be to use this product right here. This is called Safety Stop. This is a rapid fish quarantine and it has part A and a part B that you can use to help protect your investment, right? This is a simple, quick solution, a proactive way of treating your fish before you put them in your tank. Now this is gonna help uh, certain bacterial infections and some parasites, but this is just something that you that will help you when you're introducing your fish, especially if you don't have a quarantine tank. Now, what is Safety Stop, the rapid fish quarantine? This is made by Blue Life USA. It's a company based out of Los Angeles, California, and it's basically a quick quarantine bath that you use for your fish before you put them in your display tank and the active ingredients or what it contains here in part a and part b you have formalin and methylene blue now while there's no replacement or substitute for having a quarantine tank in your arsenal when it comes to adding fish to your display tank safety stop is that solution when those things are just not feasible or possible for you at the time so like i mentioned in the top of the video if you just don't have that quarantine tank set up yet or you don't have one at all this is your next best solution and that would be safety stop now before we get into how to use it there is some cautions when it comes to using this product one is you do not want to use it on scaleless fish you do not want to exceed the 45 minute uh, limit that it has for each of these baths um, you do not want to get it in your eyes uh, you want to keep it out of the reach of children um, the solution may stain so just keep that in mind and i mean you just overall don't want to just pour this in your tank this is formalin and methylene blue and so you just don't want to go pouring this into your aquarium this is meant to be put into separate containers okay so now it's time for the step by step when you get your fish home from your local fish store, you do want to kind of acclimate it to the temperature of your aquarium, maybe the pH, uh, get it acclimated to that, like 15 minute, float it. Um, then you want to pull out one gallon of water. So I'm going to pull out one gallon of water from my aquarium. So it's good if you're, if you have a water change schedule, this is how I kind of like to combine this is if I'm getting a new fish, I have water made up to do a water change. So when I'm pulling water out of my aquarium, I'm ready to replenish that water. So you want to do one gallon of water for part A and you want to cut this corner here. So you're going to cut that and you're going to pour that into the bucket and then you're just going to give it a good mix. Stir it around, give it a mix. And then you want to add some kind of air stone to the bucket. Uh, to keep it oxygenated and just the water moving around for your fish that you are acclimating into the bucket. Now you can do more than one fish at a time. So you can do a few different uh, species of fish if they're not gonna um, like pick at each other or be aggressive. So you can, if you bring home a couple fish from the fish store, it's perfectly fine to put them in this bath together. Or if you bring home like a bunch of clownfish or something, you can put them in the bath at the same time perfectly fine now you do want to set a 45 minute timer and you want to inspect your fish as they're going through the process so 
if you notice any signs of stress, if you notice uh, breathing heavy or frantic swimming around the bucket, then it may be time to get that fish out of there. But you wanna leave them in there for at least the 45 minutes. You don't wanna pass that. Now you also do not want to put a fish in these baths that are already showing signs of sickness. Remember, this is a proactive approach. So this is something that is going to help remove uh, anything before you put them in your aquarium. If they already have something, you're gonna want to treat them uh, with the, in the appropriate manner. And also safety stop is not for corals or inverts. This is strictly only for fish. Now, once you're finished with the 45 minutes in part A, you're gonna go ahead and I like to just take a fish net and I will scoop up the fish and move him to the second bucket, drop him down in there. So you're gonna cut the corner again, pour in the methylene blue, give it a good mix, and then I'll also add the air stone to that mixture as well. And you, again, go for another 45 minutes. Remember, monitor your fish. Again, any heavy breathing, any frantic swimming, signs of uh, them not doing well in the bath, you can go ahead and pull them out early. Again, don't go past the 45 minutes. So if you do see any signs of stress in any of these parts, you can go ahead and remove that fish and get him to the display tank immediately. Or if you're putting him in a quarantine tank, you also can use this as like a pre-treatment for putting them into your quarantine tank if you have one. So an extra step that I like to do personally with my fish when I'm introducing them is I will pull out a little bit more water from my display tank and I'll kind of, uh, when I scoop the fish out of the methylene blue, I'll, I'll kind of give them a dip in that tank water to kind of rinse off any of the methylene blue or anything and then I will put them in the display tank. Now when you introduce your fish to the display, obviously you do want to watch and make sure there's no other fish aggression from any of the other tank mates. Make sure that um, they're not harassing the fish or anything. And it can be a good idea to feed the tank when you put them in, but you can also just turn down the intensity of your lights. Maybe if you have your full spectrum, everything on, maybe dial it down to some blue lights when you introduce the fish. Uh, that way he can find a safe place in the tank or find his own way without getting bombarded by the other fish. So just watch that whenever you introduce a new fish to your aquarium. Now I use safety stop on every fish that I introduce into my aquarium and I haven't had any bad experience with it yet. It's a nice little proactive solution uh, to adding fish to your reef aquarium before you set up a quarantine tank, if you don't have a quarantine tank, or even giving them this bath and putting them in a quarantine tank. So this is a great solution to being proactive about your fish's health and just protecting your investment in the long run because fish and corals and all of that can, can be expensive. And if you add one fish with some parasites or something to your aquarium, it can take down your entire tank and we definitely don't want that to happen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I know you're gonna like this video here. Go ahead and click or tap your screen to watch that. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.